Hello, welcome to Graceful Embroidery and today I'm going to show you my angel. Well, here's the first one. This is my Rose Malling angel and this is the green version. As you can see here, she has plaits that are trimmed. She has hardanger wings. These particular ones are not freestanding lace, but there is the option to create those. This is the Dimensional Angel. She sits nicely on some pelham or some sort of stiffening. To make her look really nice at the back, to tidy her up, you have several options. I have actually created backs that will fit over this bit here and neaten it up. But we also have the option of adding a nice hardanger freestanding lace cape and that covers everything nicely at the back. So this is the green or the rose marling version of the angel. Today we are going to construct the Norwegian version, the traditional costume that is worn. You will find if you have a large enough hoop that you can stitch this skirt out in one hooping. If you cannot do that, don't worry. I've split the design. Here are the other options. The centre skirt and the two sides which can be sewn onto each other and that will create the semicircle. Once again, those ones have been done on black felt. This is another version I've done on cream velvet, I meant felt. This is for those who are limited to a five by seven hoop. That is the center bit. Now, let me see if I can get these right. Oh, one's dropped on the floor, obviously. And those go like that. Where's the other one? You can do a little seam or you can actually trim right up to the satin and overlap it on there and just do some zigzag or hand stitching on there. So those are the options for the skirt. So you don't have to have a really big hoop to do the skirt. One little tip, especially if you do it on black felt. When you remove the stabiliser, I suggest you cut, don't cut right up to the edge and then you can easily peel away the backing of the stabiliser as you say. If you trim it like that, it's a tiny little bit difficult to pull it off. Not impossible, but I find it a lot easier to cut it about half an inch, take it off and then trim really close to the satin stitches. So here is our pelon. And you'll find that when it's on a roll, it will curl naturally, so you can take advantage of that. I always start bigger and then I can trim down. So you want to cut the curve here. And basically this wraps round overlaps and there are several options for finishing it off and I've been experimenting with the easiest because I must admit I do struggle with gripping things especially with a cone like this and trying to do the hand sewing so I'm going to stitch I'm going to fold this over like this and sew this seam together on my sewing machine and use that as the basis for slipping this in. I often just pin them in place. If you're going to use these as Christmas decoration and box them away, it'd be quite easy if your pelon is just held together with a few white paper clips. So I'll come back when I've sewn this and then we'll do a little bit more. <laughs> 